So if you haven't heard of the term, or I guess the word, 3i atlas, the number three, the letter I, and then atlas, A-T-L-A-S, I would encourage everyone at least to look it up, Google it up, and just look at it. You know, I'm never one to talk about like alien intelligence or anything like that. You know, you have to see it to believe it type thing. But if you look up 3i atlas, this is quite an interesting intergalactic, interplanetary object. In recorded history, there's only been three times that we've had interstellar objects enter into the solar system. One, recently, before this one, we caught wind of as it, it was exiting the solar system, so it's already going away. This one, um, we have a chance to take a look at before it gets here. The only problem is, is for about the next month or so, the sun will be in the way of this comet that's, or, or what we think is a comet, an interstellar object, um, so we can't take a good look at it. The interesting thing about this 3i atlas, if you know what an elliptical plane is, like kind of how the planets go and how vast space is, this object isn't just coming from a random direction. So if we're all spinning this way, you know, you would, you have s the probability of this object coming in from on the same elliptical plane from interstellar space is like 0. 0.00001 to like the 10th power or something. And it's coming on the same elliptical plane, which means this object is coming like on a beeline to go right by uh, Mars, which is now making its closest pass to. Uh, and then the Earth, again, it's not gonna make a super close pass to it, but it's right on the elliptical plane, then right by Jupiter and right out of the solar system. Now, the interesting part about this is, is the coma, the tail on this comet, or whatever this object is, it's, it's bleeding basically nickel. And this is like a process you see in like um, manufacturing. It's not something that we know of anyway. As human beings, it's something that's natural. Comas usually uh, burn off different color tails, you know, blue, whatever. This one's green. And there's kind of micro bursts where this thing is kind of kind of slowed down and sped up and slowed down and sped up. And the, the precarious thing is in 1977, the year I was born, there was something called a wow signal, a radio telescope. Uh, picked up a signal and 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 the person that was studying it, you know, wrote wow and it just became one of these things that kind of stuck through time. It's like a signal from another universe or whatever. The only kind of wow moment where, well, we just might have gotten a signal from somewhere else. This object is coming from nine degrees away from that signal area, which is about two light days away from Earth. Now, I'm not saying this is some alien object, but I'm saying it's something worth looking at. And, and, and if you're distracted and haven't looked it up, please just take a look at it. Please, it is absolutely uh, once-in-a-lifetime phenomenal. Check it out. Do yourself a favor, please.